In this video, we're going to focus on the zoom in function and we're going to fine tune it because we forgot a few items or at least some items uh, was lacking some code. So what we're going to make sure is that it become more fluent as you can see here. And secondly, we want to make sure that this part here works and functions accordingly. So let's start to look how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on solving a few issues that I noticed in the previous video. So this is part 17 and what I noticed and I didn't pay attention at the time is when we are zooming in and out, what is happening here is this zoom in doesn't decline this part here. It was only declining this one here. As you can see, or this will increase so it pushes it to the right. But we, we need to, of course, push this as well to the left. But right now you can see here it keeps on November and it gives some adjustments here. But of course, it's still 26 November here. So that is one of the items that I need to solve. The second item what I want to solve is this huge lag we have here. And I realized that I forgot a tiny chunk of code. So this will be a very short one just to solve these tiny errors we have here. So let's start to look at it. So if we scroll down here, we're going to go down here at the very bottom. And in here we have the hello. And I realized I forgot here we can remove this. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to get the chart object, which is this one here. And all I'm going to say here, dot update. We can update this. And then what I want to do is I just do here none. Although it doesn't matter really. If you do just normal update, it will not change really. But update none will stop the animation behind it or the, all the movements. Although you will not notice any difference if you do update or update none. Except that now the scrolling will be a bit faster and more fluent as you can see here. That looks slightly better. And of course we can still fine tune this more. Next, what we need to do is, because that is the part here that's becoming an error, is this item here. And the reason why this is an issue is because of these two items here. I didn't pay attention on here. Is what I need to do here is to create an if statement within here. So what we're going to do is for this concept normally not really the best practice, but it's a nested if statement. So a nested if statement will only check basically on this. If the value of this here, for example, once we have that here, and if a value would be surpassing something, we want to block that. And, uh, well, let's see, which one do we need here? Well, in this case, if our max value, let's cut this one out. If the max value, this is this one here, this is we're going to the zoom in, if I'm not mistaken. So, or sorry, this is the zoom out. If we're zooming out, so we have this here. And this is for the zoom out here. I'm going to put that in there. So that will work nicely. And then I will comment out that one. And then I'm going to cut that. Or let's copy this. Comment out this. And put that one in here. So what we're really doing is we're going to check if a current value would be in the right position. So if the min would be like this. Then we're going to save that one. All right, so let me just test this. I'm not sure if I have it. Maybe we need to do exactly the opposite. So, all right, so this works. And if I zoom out, do you get any errors? No, there you are. So this works exactly as I was hoping for. Now, if you zoom in, it gradually zooms in faster and faster. And we can now have all these bars here very nice and clear. Absolutely phenomenal. So that was the, ti the tiny item here. We might have maybe a reset button that might be another option here or with, with a right click and then we do a reset button. But that will be probably for another video. So that is the most important one to cover right now. So the next video we're going to check on and we zoom in. I still want to, for example, solve the zoom. And then if I'm here, for example, I'm zooming in, but I'm losing the zoom in or the values here. And that's what I want to avoid because when I'm scrolling here, I probably want to see this area where I am scrolling. I want to zoom in on that specific area. So we have to figure out how to do that, which is a quite advanced zoom in feature in the next video.